Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to have a go at this crazy power problem. Well, actually, if you know your power rules, this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Firstly, there's a rule that says that if we have a number and we raise this to a negative power, then we can rewrite this as 1 over that number to the positive power. My way of remembering this is I take the negative sign, I turn it around and put it at the top. So what does this mean for our problem? Well, we're going to solve this problem by manipulating the quarter into something that looks exactly like this. So let's start by using this rule to rewrite a quarter as 4 to the power of negative 1. Now I'm going to utilise this rule. If we have a number raised to a power, and that's all raised to another power, then we can rewrite that as that number raised to the two powers multiplied together. It obviously doesn't matter whether I write AB here or BA, but if we swap these around, it allows us to rewrite this as n to the power of b all raised to the power of a, which is just the first term with the power switched around. OK, now I'm going to take our 4 to the minus 1, and I'm going to add two more powers. I'm going to raise all of this to the power of 2, and then I'm going to take the square root of it. Now you should see that that has no overall effect. If I square a number, then take the square root, we're back to where we started. Also, look what would happen if I brought that half down and multiplied it by the 2, as this rule here allows us to do. We would then have 2 times a half, which is 1, so we'd be raising everything to the power of 1, which again has no overall effect. So why did I do this? Well, remember that this rule here allows us to switch around our powers if we want to. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So this now becomes 4 to the power of, let's do a half first, then 2, and now minus 1. The reason I've done this is because I can evaluate 4 to the power of a half. That just means the square root of 4. So we end up with the square root of 4, which is 2, to the power of 2, to the power of negative 1. Also remember that taking the square root of a number can give us a positive or negative answer. Now, if we apply this rule again, we're allowed to multiply the powers. So this becomes plus or minus 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by the power of negative 1, which gives us 2 to the power of negative 2. And if I just take the negative part of this up here, we get negative 2 to the power of negative 2. And that now is in identical format to what we're trying to find. And so we can finally conclude that x must equal negative 2. And that's the answer. So let's do a quick check. Negative 2 raised to the power of 2 equals 4. But we don't have 2. We have negative 2. And what did this rule here teach us? If we have a negative power, we can write that as 1 over n to the power of the positive power. In other words, we can just rewrite the 4 as 1 over 4. So everything is good. Did you get it? 